Interesting, but that's not as interesting as the fact that the 10-year is trading at the highs of the day from a yield standpoint. Mm -hmm. So the bond market priced his conversation in 100% completely. Equities haven't. With the global easing, markets will continue to move higher. All right, Lindsay Bell, how do you see it? Well, I think that I almost wonder if uh, the Fed chair is using inflation as an excuse when trade uncertainty is really his major concern. Yeah, he said it, I mean, so many times I couldn't even count. Well, trade uncertainty, and, trade uncertainty, sentiment, business sentiment, you know. Point. Yeah, and the point is, is look at, look at the inflation data that came out this morning. It was pretty decent. Look at what Fastenal said. They are actually seeing prices increase. They're able to pass that along to offset the tariffs, but they're also seeing inflation in their actual costs. And this is something that we've been hearing over the last couple quarters, that the rise in prices of raw materials, transportation, labor. These are actually coming through. They are, and maybe for the first time, we're actually starting to see it in the data. Exactly. Right? We've had all these anecdotal things for many months from CEO after CEO after CEO. <clears throat> Those on the other side, or critics of that, would say, but, but it's not showing up in the data. It's not in the data. Well, today it was in the data. Plus, you have to remember the, the, the whole uh, imports. We imported a bunch of goods to, to get ahead of these tariffs to avoid that increase in prices. And so maybe now we're finding this finally flowing through. Yeah. Joe, how do you see it? Uh, <clears throat> I think it's our job to respond to what the Federal Reserve policy is going to be. I don't think it's our job to predict whether or not they should go 25 basis points or not. Uh, whether it's your job or not, that's what the market does, and that's well, what it's doing. So, you know, the market is play by the rules that you're given. That's I think what's the going market on. is reacting to something different, though. I think the market is reacting to your previous point that it's not just a one and done. I think the market is recognizing that we might be on the precipice of a rate cutting cycle. And that is a distinctive change from where we were six months ago. Keep in mind, the balance sheet runoff will end in 30 to 45 days. Additionally, in prior years, we've heard monetary policymakers argue for the need of fiscal policy. They got some fiscal policy in 17 and were able to begin to tighten. You heard Chairman Powell talk a lot about the need for fiscal policy. I don't know what that fiscal policy might be or look like, but if he is offering we need more fiscal policy, then I think we have to, as investors and stewards of capital, look at this and say, this is not a one and done. This is potentially a rate cut.